Well, HIV does not have a look. Growing up, I never thought HIV would look like me or anyone I knew for that matter. So I got tested and it came back positive. I just kind of glazed over. I just couldn't really process it. The medication sort of like grabbed me by the back of my shirt and dragged me away from death's door. And ever so slowly, my physical health began to recover and I realized that I was in fact going to live. A lot of people, they still don't know the difference between HIV and full-blown AIDS. I want to change that. In recent years, there have been important developments in what we know about HIV infection and AIDS. In particular, there are treatments now that have greatly improved the health of many people infected with HIV, and it's gotten much easier for people to get tested for HIV. But some things have not changed. HIV can still infect anybody who engages in certain kinds of risky behaviors, and even though we are better able to treat HIV infection, we still cannot cure it. It's a problem that hasn't gone away. My name is Cameron Mitchell. And I'm Allie Ryan. In this program, we'll look at the latest information that we have about HIV and AIDS. We'll look at steps you can take to avoid being infected. And what steps you can take if you want to find out whether or not you already are infected. AIDS results from a virus called Human Immunodeficiency Virus, or HIV for short. When a person is infected by this tiny virus, it can cause enormous harm. 